All right, what's up, KCA? Mr. Hildebrandt here, and I hope you all are having a great winter break uh, and enjoying yourself, relaxing. I thought I'd make this video to go over what I would like you to do for extra credit over winter break if you have the time and you have the will. So what we're talking about here is all I really want is for you to be practicing your rhythms. That's really it. I just want these rhythms to be something that you are practicing over winter break. Um, so to show me that and to earn that extra credit, um, I am going to post this video and I'm going to show you some new rhythm levels as well. And all you have to do is show me that you're uh, doing one of two things. You're either taking the feedback that I've given you on the old rhythms or you're recording the new rhythms. Either way, you're going to email me. Let me show you the assignment and what it looks like. Again, this is going to be an optional assignment. You don't have to do this. Optional, okay? It is just for extra credit. I would like you to be practicing the rhythms we have learned over winter break. I will give extra credit if you show me that you practice that you are practicing your rhythms over break using Soundtrap. To receive the 50 points of assessment extra credit, you can either email me that you responded to my feedback by making changes to your project, or if your project is perfect, one through levels one through four, you can email me that you recorded the new rhythm levels five and six. Pretty cool. So let's check out the rhythm levels. So, okay, we have in our document, we have rhythm level one, ninths and easy, quarter notes and eighth notes. Number two, a little more complicated, quarters and sixteenth notes. Level three mixes those two, three together. You got quarter notes, sixteenth notes, and eighth notes. Level four, we now have quarter notes, eighth notes, and quarter rests. Remember, rests are basically just big old um, nothings, all right? You just either say shh or you just say nothing. Up to you. Level five is a new one, all right? We're using this symbol here. It's known as the triplet, all right? And basically, like, like the 16th note has four sounds, the eighth notes have two, the triplets have three, all right? Triplet. So I'm going to perform these rhythms for you now so you can get them in your head. Here is number one. We're going to say pear for quarter notes and banana for triplets, pear and banana. Number one is, ready, and pear, pear, banana, pear. Again, number one is, ready, and, pear, pear, banana, pear. Number two, ready, and, banana, pear, banana, pear. Okay? Number three, ready, and, banana, banana, pear, pear. Okay? And number four, ready, and, banana, 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 pear. That's level five rhythms, level five rhythms. Okay, moving on to level six. Level six rhythms implement a new rhythm called an, a half note. Half notes are very long, okay? They're basically twice as long as a quarter note. A quarter note receives one beat, all right? One temp, one, if you're um, you know, tapping your foot to the beat, a quarter note is the same length of time as that tap. A, a half note, meanwhile, is twice as long. It gets two beats. So there's a bunch of different ways you can imagine this, but I like to kind of think it's a pair and it's full of air, all right? So it's kind of like the rest where we're going to be only hitting, clapping our hands or tapping our table one time, but now we're having to imagine that second sound. So here's number one. Listen to this for real quick. Number one is just two half notes, okay? Here's the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, and here comes number one. Ready? One, two, ready, and pair, pair. Did you feel that? How the way I performed the rhythm lasted over both beats? Listen to it again. Number one. One, two, ready, and pair, pair. Here comes number two. Ready, and pair, pair, pair. Number three. Pair, pair. Pair. Okay. And number four, ready, and pair, pair, pair. So notice that the, the half notes are twice as long as the quarter notes. Okay. So that's levels five and six. So if you would like to try those rhythms, you can, but you don't have to. Let's go over to my soundtrack project. Okay. Here are all my rhythms, levels one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to title this 
um, Mr. Hildebrandt's Jams. Cool. And I'm going to click Save. Can't forget to click Save, otherwise I'll lose my progress. Okay. Remember, you are working off Songwriting Project 5.1. So say I was grading this assignment. Say um, I was grading this and I wanted to give it some feedback. So I go here to level one, okay? And I would listen to level one. Okay, very cool. So level one was really good. So I would give myself some feedback and I would write in the chat um, that level one was good. But say we listen to now level five. Okay, so we're gonna move here to level five. Um, here comes level five. Okay, good. Level five sounds good. Let's go over to level six and see what level six sounds like. Okay, level six is also sounding good. Let's check in on level four and we're just moving around the rhythms and seeing which ones sound good and which ones need some feedback. Okay, if, did you hear what I hear? I heard a little break in between each rhythm. So we're going to level four, level four. Okay, there we go, level four rhythms. And I heard this little tiny break in between each number. So I might give myself some feedback. I'm like, hey, great job on level four. Each rhythms were definitely accurate. However, I want you to try it again, this time performing it with no breaks, meaning the all one, two, three, and four back to back without taking a moment, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete level four, and let's try it again. I'm going to click record, okay? Here it comes, great. Pear, shh, pear, pear, apple, shh, apple, pear, pear, apple, shh, pear, apple, apple, shh, pear. All right, cool, let's give that a listen. Great. So I took the feedback that I got and I immediately changed it. Now I would just message myself, message Mr. Hildebrandt, and I would let them know through email. Be like, hey, Mr. Hildebrandt, I made the change. Um, I'm working on my rhythms over break. Let me know what you think. All right. And as long as I have that email in, then I would receive the 50 points of extra credit. Okay, so that is all I would like for you to do. Again, if your project is perfect and you um, did not receive any feedback, then I encourage you to check out levels five and six. If your project needs a little bit of work on levels four, three, two, and one, then I encourage you to do that work as well. Don't forget to click save always after your projects are you are completed, all right? And notice that I have this little staircase. I have an individual track for each rhythm. That is pretty good. I've also seen some people do this. Well, they'll, they'll have level one, rhythm one. And that's also really effective. It allows me to isolate each rhythm. So I, it's up to you which way you would like to do it. Um, I hope this is helpful. This is Mr. Hildebrandt. This is all I got today, signing off. Have a great break, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.